Hello and welcome everybody. I wanna show you real quick how I made this aluminum RC jet boat that I baptized the Thresh Metal. So first I experimented with uh, the idea of having a 3D printed subframe, basically a skeleton with, you know, um, kind of sheets of plastic and later I had the idea to just use sheet metal uh, which is much easier and uh, make uh, a boat hull out of it so uh, yeah I experimented it, made some templates with my uh, 010 3D printer and uh, yeah uh, then I started uh, making uh, the aluminum hull, which uh, basically is uh, one part at the rear that I just folded with the help of uh, um, yeah, some steel rods and some C-clamps and I just bend it by hand and using like a little wheel to uh, kind of get the bend radius tight and yeah, you can see um, uh, I made some 3D printed brackets here I made some 3D printed brackets that uh, hold the steel rods so I can make more precise angles. Yeah, so and the end result looks something like this. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually for... Uh, now it's, it's only like 0.5 millimeter uh, thickness of the aluminum, but uh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't go over uh, a millimeter with the uh, manual bending. Otherwise, I would need to metal break a professional thing, which is really big, really expensive, and yeah. And also, the uh, thinner metal has the advantage of being really lightweight. So uh, the uh, the whole hull of aluminum weighs probably less than a kilo even though it is uh, 300 by 700 by 8, 80 millimeters. So yeah, here you can see me uh, trying to uh, bend uh, the, uh, the bow of the boat and uh, I kind of screwed up these corners a little bit. You can see me here uh, kind of making little cuts so it kind of all fits together. So uh, for version 2 I definitely will cut that also out more uh, generally, uh, generously. Yeah, so it f just fits nicer and it's less of a headache to bend and put all together. So yeah, and then I... It was pretty straightforward, just putting all parts together in the uh, on the subframe that I made. The three printed one, just glue the parts and here you can see there are some uh, panel gaps obviously um, not ideal but uh, it's it's really it's really tight it's only like probably less than half a millimeter here uh, uh, on that uh, on that side and here it's a little more but I just filled it up with epoxy later yeah, here you can see me um, filling up the gaps with uh, long, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, with uh, the uh, long drying version of epoxy glue, which is really hard and stable. And then I got my hands on a uh, TFL 29 millimeter jet unit that has a four bladed impeller, and uh, I made the, uh, I designed and made the back um, out of uh, PLA, out of 3D printed plastic too. And I already, you know, kind of made the necessary or most of the necessary holes, like for the jet, for the servo. Yeah, here you can see it better. This is where the jet goes. I'm starting to you know, mount it. Here goes the uh, steering. Yeah, and then I just uh, took a 
two millimeter drill bit and I chain drilled. I chain drilled out the uh, the bottom hole, you know, the intake for the uh, jet. Yeah, here you can see me. Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, I mean, it's not ideal. It's pretty rough, but I filed it out and it was fine. And uh, that gave me the advantage that I could uh, get a really tight fit on the uh, on the jet. And it's very very flush. I think it's set with the uh, with the hull, so uh, water just rushes over it or in it with uh, minimum resistance. Uh, so I don't get any extra lift or drag at the rear, uh, which could mess up the driving characteristics. Uh, yeah, so here I glued the uh, the uh, back uh, back side of the motor on, and then I realized, wait a minute, the uh, servo mount that came with the jet unit. Um, was too small for my servos, so I had to design my own one for you know 40 millimeter full-sized, quote unquote, full-sized servos. And uh, then I mounted, uh, yeah, I glued everything in with epoxy to uh, seal it, and I um, mounted a uh, Turnergy 1650 kV brushless motor uh, from Hobby King with uh yeah with a 36 millimeter uh, cooling jacket and uh, later um yeah you will see it uh, when it's running i uh, realized that uh, i i mean that jet in general could handle a higher rpm you know for better top speed and uh, so maybe a higher kv motor could be an idea or just more voltage on the battery of course so yeah i then uh, mounted uh, the steering and the receiver temporarily and i printed my own uh, battery holder that uh, fits in the uh, in the hull uh, from the geometry and uh, it's a very tight fit the motor is very long kind of a little oversized for that project but yeah, uh, so um, I made it for uh, yeah. What what is on the screen? What you can see on the screen? It's a Nanotech, also from Hobby King. And um, yeah, mm, then I uh, realized that uh, there is probably always going to be a little bit water in the hole, especially when I take that into you know less calm waters. So I fitted a small bilge pump, it's just a 12 volt aquarium pump and I made uh, on my lathe, I made some uh, uh, adapters for, um, for the hull and I also made some uh, exit, exit exhausts basically for uh, the water cooling so you can visually inspect that the water cooling is running and it also kind of looks cool I think so yeah then I host everything up so here you can see the dual exhaust and here is the um, the bilge pump line and it just has a little hose that uh, goes under the uh, motor holder and if there's any more water than I don't know maybe five millimeters should start sucking the water out yeah so, what is still missing? Of course, I uh, forgot to mention that I obviously made uh, a top cover for uh, the bow and for the sides uh, I kind of had a little cock up, so uh, yeah, I should have just uh, ordered a longer uh, sheet of aluminum so I could f just bend and fold the, uh, uh, yeah, just fold the uh, sheet metal on a 90 degree over to uh, you know have kind of uh, uh, yeah a rim here and so I uh, kind of just riveted on some parts and uh, 
and made it all waterproof with epoxy or hot glue. And I also put some seals around the edge here. Yeah, and uh, I also designed uh, for the battery holder, I designed uh, uh, it in a way that some small rubber bands can hold the battery in place so it doesn't, you know, can't fall off or ruin the balance or whatever. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I also made the spring-loaded antenna, so if it hits something, it uh, you know it's not just destroyed or destroys the boat. And of course, uh, a top cover that has just a latch, and you can fold it, fold it up. This is just temporarily, but. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it works really nice actually, so I might keep it. And of course, uh, um, windshield. Um, yeah, and I branded it with uh, with the help of a 3D printed template. And here you can see me making it uh, ready to uh, ready for its first launch. Um, I also put the GPS in here, that uh, is a Melon GPS from Bicycle, it's not exactly accurate, uh, had some errors, so yeah, take the readings definitely with a grain of salt here. Um, I put some stickers on there, because I was yeah kind of too lazy to paint it, first wanted to see how it performs. So yeah, 